Hello and welcome to this video. I am Phil and today we are looking at a very important topic which is the Federalist Papers. We want to understand the importance of these papers and we also want to understand the origin of these papers. All right, so let's get into the video. So the uh, Federalist Papers uh, were written by three men, essentially. Uh, three men that are considered um, even today as um, you know, very important figures in the United States political history. And these men came together and wrote the uh, Federalist Papers under the name of Floblos. So let's put that here, under the name of Floblos. Uh, and they came and wrote the Federalist Papers and essays under the name of Floblos. And these men were James Madison, who was president of the United States from uh, 1809 to 1817. He was the fourth president of the United States. And the second man was uh, John Jay, who was the second governor of New York and was also the first chief justice of the United States. And the third man was Alexander Hamilton, who was the founder of the Federalist Party and was also the first treasury secretary. Now, Alexander Hamilton was well revered in the uh, financial industry. He was an economic guru and uh, he was... Um, uh, really deferred uh, on many decisions uh, in that regard and considered today as a statesman and founder of the United States. He was also a found, the founder of the New York Post, which he founded in 1801. So these men, under the name of Publius, uh, wrote the Federalist Papers, which were, which were about 85, uh, 85 papers and essays that were geared towards the ratification of the United States Constitution. Uh, it, the, the main objective of the Federalist Papers uh, was to ratify, so ratify the United States Constitution, have New Yorkers ratify the United States Constitution, which was drafted in 1787 in Philadelphia. The, the United States Constitution was drafted in 18. Uh, 87 in Philadelphia. And so these men then again came together under the name of Pablos and, and wrote approximately 85 papers and essays uh, with the primary objective of, um, you know, uh, urging uh, New Yorkers to, to ratify the Constitution that was drafted once again in uh, Philadelphia in 1787. And if you read the Federalist Papers, there are very common themes that, that are evident. Uh, and those themes have been highlighted here. The first one is federalism. And federalism was highlighted as a structure for democracy and for effective governance of society. And under the uh, structure of federalism, you have a, a central government and you have the federating units. And the federating units, the idea is they will be uh, uh, semi-autonomous and uh, with the opportunity and the power to, be, to uh, control their affairs. And in, in that sense, then, they will have the structure of government and institutions of government, such as the executive branch, the, executive, uh, the um, uh, legislative branch, as well as the uh, judiciary branch. And this, each branch then will have its distinct powers in the, uh, in the running of government and the functioning of society. And the idea then is when government, when power is decentralized uh, in this sense, and in the case of the United States, amongst the 50 states, you have a more effective union. Uh, you have a more effective society. You have uh, where uh, each of the federal units have are empowered to take decisions in their best interest. And the second theme that uh, uh, is um, found in the Federalist Papers is checks and balances. And in, in, in this context, checks and balances, you have the executive branch and you have the judiciary branch and you have the legislative branch. And again, each with um, their own distinct powers, with the legislative branch making the laws and the judiciary branch interpreting those laws and the executive branch enforcing those laws. And so this was very evident in the, uh, in the papers and essays mm -hmm. as another way of ensuring a stable and sustainable society a society where law and order was, uh, was uh, the order of the day. And along the same lines, the separation of powers, ensuring that you have these branches, uh, these branches that will have the checks and balances. 
and to make sure that none of uh, all of the branches are within the parameters of their responsibilities. And at, along the same lines as well, you will see plural, uh, pluralism uh, very, very evident in the uh, papers and essays written by this man under the name of Publius. And pluralism in this context is uh, multiple ideas and perspectives, ideologies that make for a better society, according to the views of this man. And when you have pluralism in a society, you have options. If one idea doesn't work, another idea will work. And by so doing, society is moving on and moving forward and achieving its set agenda. And the final theme is representation, political representation at all levels of government, that the people should be represented at all levels of government, uh, in parliament, in, in, in the executive branch, and by those who canvass their interests, by those who share the same uh, ideologies with them and the same perspective on key issues in society. And according to these papers, then, this are uh, the uh, mainstay of, uh, of democracy, of a democratic uh, experiment for a more stable union, for people to be able to actualize their, their dreams and as free citizens and human rights uh, have, have been maintained and respected. So the Federalist Papers, after many years and many decades of uh, being published, are still very relevant today as a framework for the interpretation of the United States Constitution. So let's put that here. It's uh, a framework for the interpretation, uh, interpretation of the Constitution, of the U.S. Constitution. And this is one of the primary, uh, the primary function of these papers and essays. And today, legal scholars use it to interpret uh, different aspects of the Constitution and to, give, to get a sense of what, uh, uh, what the Constitution should say and what it means and how it uh, safeguards the people's interests.